welcome to Willoughby again. This is me, Lou, again. Here we go. Today we'll be showing you a little bit more about the garden. Um, let me just show you some of these flowers I got going on here. I got a little ferns. I got some hortensia. I got um, heliconias, some lilies. Uh, around this way, this is called sweet almond bush. It's very fragrant. Bees love it. Attracts a lot of bees. Um, down this way, I did a little bit of roses. They're kind of like, take a lot of time. They take a lot of attention. This one out here is doing pretty good. The ones in the pots by the pool, not so much. But we'll see what happens with those. Now on this side, did a little bit of a garden. My wife likes the flowers. I like the flowers too. Like I told you guys before, you need to attract the bees and butterflies. You need those pollinators. You got a bromelia. Kind of likes the shades, doing well there. This is a lily of the Nile. Um, this is a raspberry I got to get in the ground soon. Ginger. This is a ginger cone. It's another flowering lily. More gingers. Nice, beautiful flowers here. This one here is called Roselle. This is a hibiscus, actually. This. These uh, pods here, you make teas from, it's actually medicinal. You take them, you make a tea, it's very good for digestion. Okay, over here we have what's called a hardy kiwi. Um, planted this a long time ago, it's not doing that great. Did some further research on it. Um, seems to, it needs two plants, it's one of those that needs two. So I'm gonna have to get another one, get that one going. This area over here, kind of left for the dog. He likes to do his business around here. I pick it up every day. I haven't done it this morning, but because he's a carnivore, their droppings are not really good for fertilizing. Planning on doing maybe some berries on this wall here. Maybe my blueberries. Thinking about putting over there because they like acidic soil. Do some raised beds, maybe put it over there. And move this grape out of there. Never liked it in this corner. I think she needs more sun. Uh, been a long time, hasn't done anything. Come back around this way. I was thinking today, I have a friend of mine, actually my sister-in-law gave me a couple of cashews. Cashews are just like you think, the cashew nut, but it also has a fruit on it that they call the cashew apple. Very good for juicing. But I got a couple of seeds that I want to plant. I was gonna do that today. Also want to show you this raised bed I did for, uh, I want to do some romaine lettuce. Come on on this way. This year, though it's a common weed in Florida, is actually purslane. Purslane is a very good weed. It's high in vitamin C. It's high in anti-cancer properties. Um, high in the omega-3s, those oils that we need, not the omega-6s. Very good plant. You can eat it just like it is. Put in salads, saute it. Really good plant. That I, made. I just got some old timbers that I had lying around, some compost that we've been growing here, cultivating. And what we're going to do is going to start putting some seeds down. I've been thinking maybe I'm just going to start it here today, put a couple more in a couple days there, a couple days later over there, so this way we'll have a continuous harvest, not everything all at once. So I got my seeds, I'm going to go ahead and start sprinkling them through. Got some organic seeds that I just picked up at the local hardware store. What I like to do is put on some gloves because I also work with food and I like to keep my hands clean. Cleanliness is next to godliness. All right, so put on a couple gloves. We'll spread out some seeds. I think I'll do like a third of the box and just sprinkle them out. This ain't rocket science, just throw it on there. Okay. That's all we gotta do. I'll get a little dirt, cover it up, good to go. A couple days, I'll do the next third. After that, a week later, maybe the next third. Okay, so let's get a little dirt, cover up those seeds before the birds eat it. Come down around this way. Down to my planting station. A little crowded over here. 
got this 55 gallon drum here with water in it. I'm trying to save the water. I gotta find a way to get it up on a pedestal, reuse the water. 55 gallons of water is a lot of water. It's all good, clean nature's nature's water, right? No chemicals, no chlorine, no fluoride. Excellent for the plants. Alright, so we got some dirt. I got some dirt over here. I'll take it with me over there, cover those seeds up. I'm just going to leave this over here because we'll be using it during the week. I'm just going to lightly cover. And I think tonight it's going to rain, so I'm not even going to worry about putting any water on it today. And we'll just see how that goes. It's not really the time to plant romaine lettuce. It's a little hot, but this area is nice and shady. I think it'll be all right. This here is called a mosquito plant, citronella. Smells very lemony, supposedly keeps the mosquitoes away. Um, I don't know, it was inside, it wasn't doing too good. Brought it out here now, it seems to be greening up. This here is cone ginger. Beautiful flowers on it, beautiful leaves. Nice plant. Okay, I want to go plant those two seeds that I told you about that my sister in law gave me the cashews. Very simple. my station over here. We'll grab a couple a couple pots here. I think this, this size is alright. Actually it's a little bit just these here. Forage pot would even do. Okay, we need to get some more dirt. Alright, we're gonna grab a little dirt from our homemade compost. You, you see it's got a lot of branches still in it, it's still decomposing. This one was the Hugo culture way in the back there. It's coming out really nice. Not too densely packed. The water will flow nicely. You won't get wet, soggy feet. I got some mixture of uh, peat moss in there as well. It's as well as some um, perlite. These white balls are called perlite. They help to uh, retain the moisture. Scruffy, what are you doing there? All right, here we go. So I just, what I do is like to put it up on here. Here's your cashew seeds. All right inside is the actual nut itself. Around the nut is like a volatile oil, which you don't want to really get on your fingers. But this this side goes down. Just plug it in there. Let it go. Done deal. Another one. These things we juiced this morning. They were excellent. Put in the juicer. We had some leftover mulberries that I had in the freezer. I had some pineapple. Strawberries and blueberries get an excellent smoothie. It's fantastic. Very healthy, organic. Great thing. All right. A little bit more dirt on there. We need to label it because I'll forget. Here we go. All right. So over here, I just got my stuff. I got a couple things I like to label with magic marker. Okay. So now what we're going to do is just going to label them because. I got a bad habit of not labeling things and sometimes I don't know what I planted like this one for example I have no idea what it is but we're not gonna make that mistake on this one this is cashew I just like to put the date as well 618 All right, so we got two of those suckers hopefully they'll both take what I hear they're very easy to grow what I've read about did my research on they're low maintenance they don't need a lot of fussing about I just grabbed myself a couple little sticks here, garbage pile. Put them in there. As soon as they start sprouting, I'll cover them with some wood chips to pre preserve the water. Keeps the water intact. Also gives a little shade for it. And hopefully within 19, 22 days, they should be have their first leaves. Let's see how that goes. Okay, on this side. Outside of the main part of the woods, I got another little section that I just started. And I got a couple papaya trees that I started here. I'm just doing papayas and some bananas. I started this bay leaf tree. This is my wife, Brazilian. She loves to make a lot of beans. Bay leaves are great in beans. Good chicken dishes. 
Also, I'm a chef. I use a lot of different herbs and spices. So this little part of the garden here. Ah, I'll just keep it simple. A couple raised beds here. We got some garbanzo beans that I'm experimenting with. I don't know. They seem like... Uh, they seem a little picky. They seem uh, not to be happy. Water them, don't water them. I don't know what's going on. I got some beans. Regular beans, like long beans. They're doing well. This side, I got more loofers that just popped up. These things just climb. They got beautiful yellow flowers when we open up. I'm happy with those. Well, planted some more pollinated plants over here. Actually, this is a medicinal plant as well. This part, I just planted these plants here. I got some medicinal plants. This is echinacea, cone flower. Echinacea, if everybody, anybody is herbalist, they know that's very good for headaches, good for teas. Good plant to have. Society garlic, some more pollinators. This part of the yard, I just did, um, I'd say it's maybe six months old. Actually, I'm gonna edit some pictures in of when I first took out the grass, how I covered it with cardboard. You gotta put lots of carpet on it to kill the grass. Put lots of wood chips on top. I didn't have enough cardboard at the time. That's why the weeds are starting to come back in. You can see the cardboard here. The weeds are starting to creep back up. I'm gonna have to get some more wood chips, lay it again, otherwise it'll be a mess over here. But that'll be a project for this summer. Hopefully I can get some free wood chips because they're not cheap when you buy them. All right, so here you can see where I started laying down the cardboard, killing the grass, um, layering the, the wood chips on top. I, what I made a mistake in is not putting enough cardboard down. That cardboard I had was pretty flimsy. It wasn't corrugated. Um, so what I need to do is add a lot more wood chips this summer, um, keep those weeds down, and get that soil going. Okay. Come back around this side. This is jasmine. It's a little unruly right now, but it makes beautiful little white flowers. It's very fragrant. Bees love it. Oh, watch out, Scruffy. What are you doing there? Scruffy just got knocked in the head. Yeah, right there? All right. Here we go. All right. Well, here I got a coconut that started. This is a... Uh, when we had the hurricane not too long ago, I was walking down the, one of the neighbors has one of those short little coconut trees, which I, I thought I got to have one. I don't want those coconut trees that climb way up in the air and you can't get to them. This is called a maypan, I believe. It's from uh, Malaysia and Panamania, uh, from Panama, a mixture. It doesn't grow too tall, maybe 12 feet at the most. Let's see if it's going to grow. Put it in there. Got a little pineapple that popped up in there. Let's we'll see what's going to happen with that one. Oh. Now I was talking, I don't know if you guys saw my first video, with the loofahs. Here they are. Kind of look like a squash, like a cucumber. There's a couple of them right there. See that? They'll get tall, they'll get long like that, maybe like that. It'll be very lightweight. You wait till they kind of get brownish on it, then you, out, you peel the outsides, and inside is a loofah. Take all the seeds out, you recycle those seeds, and make sure we'll plant them again. As soon as they get to the, to the right stage, I'll show you guys how we do that. Garden. I think what we're going to do today, I'm going to pull some of those potatoes out of the ground. Those sweet potatoes been there a while. There should be some nice ones in there. Let's see what we got. All right. Thing is to find where it starts. As always, watch that plant there. That's, that's a pepper. Let's see what we have in there. You can find them. Yeah, it looks like a mess, but they're in there. See, you can see his little baby one here. That's a sweet potato. And we pull out some monsters. I'll also edit in a picture of our first harvest. Here's one. Let's be good to roast in the oven, nice and sweet. I don't like to leave them too long because they get tough. And it's been a while I've been wanting to do this. 
this side of the yard has got really unruly. They really get tough and withered when they don't have enough dirt to grow on. This mound here is pretty new. I don't have that much dirt to work with. This came from the bottom on the floor. See how much bigger they are? Look nicer. These are going to be good eats. That's good eats right there. We picked up some monster ones on the other side of the garden. It was well established into the actual ground itself. That's down there. I'm sure there's some potatoes down there. Yeah. Just to boil them, I roast them. I like just roast them, put a little olive oil on it, some granulated garlic, some black pepper. Just roast them in the oven. Super sweet. Delicious. Too long. I can feel it's not that good. This one, well, we'll see what it does. They just take over. They send out runners, and the runners just go and wherever they decide to land. They put down roots, and they make potatoes. Guys, let's see where they go. See, they're a little unruly. Oh, it looks like all it is for a few potatoes. This is all right. We'll turn this back into mulch. Back around this side. See, you can get some more potatoes out of here. These vines are just popping up here. See what it brings us. I pulled a lot out of this little raised bed. Not too long ago, me and my son got, it's about 20 of them out of here, decent sized. I'll oh, come here, I'll show you this. You can see them over here. Look at that. Just sticking out of the out of the ground. Can you see that? Right here? Look. One, here's another one sticking out of the ground. See, when they hit the ground, they make nice potatoes. The Yugo culture mound is not quite ready yet. It's not decomposed enough. In a year, year and a half, it'll be ready. It'll be solid dirt and they can find their way in there. So the ones that are on the ground are much bigger potatoes, much nicer potatoes. But they're still good eats. Even the small ones, small ones I find them more tender, more sweeter. That's what I use in my store. When we make roasted sweet potatoes, we use small ones. All right. It's gonna rinse these guys off. You notice I got a lot of buckets around. I like to collect all the water I can when it rains. Right now it's raining a lot. Um, hopefully we won't get a hurricane. But I like to use all this water. Free water is better water. It's from God. It doesn't have anything in it. All natural water is definitely better than fluoride water, chlorine water. Better for the plants, better for us. All right, let's see what else we got. I'm gonna check on these potatoes over here. These potatoes grew by themselves. Didn't plant them. They're a little dry. I haven't watered it. I really don't water the garden too much. I don't water it at all, to be honest with you. I, wa I water the new transplants. Right? I take them from there, out of my pots, put them in the ground. Then I'll take care of them for a week. I'll water them. But mostly, I think that the wood chips really holds the water. You really don't have to do much. It's very low maintenance. It's the way a woods or a forest does it by itself. There's nobody out there watering it, right? So that's the whole concept between permaculture. Alright. Alright, 
Let's take you around the garden again. There's so many plants in here. You're gonna have to stop and do different videos about each different type of plant we got here. Um, there's so much to take in right now. Uh, this, all this is a learning experience for me as well. We've only been doing this for a few years. Yeah, granted, you know, I'm Italian, but grew up in New York. Parents had gardens, we grew tomatoes, we grew fig trees, we grew uh, cherry trees actually we had, it was pretty cool. Um, I remember going, getting like horse manure with my dad at Orchard Beach, you know, using that for compost and stuff. I don't like to use any kind of manure here. I want to do it more towards nature, more towards what, what God would do, the original forest, what they would do. All right, guys, so our harvest wasn't that big today, but it's enough for dinner. And like I like to say is, will it be homegrown, fresh, organic, or will it be GMO, pesticides, suicides? It's up to you guys. You can do this. Please hit the subscribe button. Two green thumbs up. See you next time.